What? No way. For fudge sakes. You're telling me that I can be down at Bucky's picking me up some banana pudding fudge and Pee Pee Man can make my hamoverts go off? And instead of having to run all the way home and try to hunt him and not hear his signal because it sucks, I can remote in to my own QRP radio? Ain't no way. What's up, Ham Radio? Kilo Echo 8, Papa Zoe November, the Ham Radio Adventure Guy. Thanks for stopping by your one stop for everything adventure radio. You know, I usually don't do these kind of videos. I don't talk about new radios coming out because all the other YouTubers are going to. And chances are you've done watched it on their channels. And you're not going to watch it on mine after you've done seen it 15 times. But this time, I'm kind of intrigued. So I'm going to talk about this for a little bit. Not really the radio itself, even though... We all know I'm kind of obsessed with QRP radios. I do QRO 99.9% .9 of the time, but I love my collection of QRP radios. And back in September, when they were talking about Shagoo coming out with a new QRP radio, everybody was getting excited, and then we didn't hear nothing. Well, guess what, guys? That's going to change now. because. Shegu has announced a release of their X6200 transceiver. And I'm not going to go into a big, you know, tell you everything this radio is going to do. Uh, you know, first off, this is right on the Radiology page, and I will stick a link in the um, description. Also, this available is not quite ready yet. Uh, does, you can see it says $0, so no price has been released. It says sold out. You can't order it. But it is coming out, and it does tell you about the radio. Here's a little side view of it. Uh, you've got the BNC on the side here. You're pushed to talk in case you don't want to use your mic. Um, it sounds like it's going to be a really great radio. Uh, for, at, at the least, it's going to be a 6100 with some new benefits. But it'll probably have some bugs like the 6100 when it first came out and several firmware updates and all that stuff. But I'm not going to talk about all that stuff because, you know, other YouTubers have probably done, done a deep dive on this thing without having it in their hands, and I'm not about that. What I'm going to talk about is we go down here and, and read about it and get the highlights and stuff, and it says features network remote control support. So they're saying this thing is going to be able to be remoted into. When I think of remoting in, I'm thinking remoting into power to get a station. But I can't think of several ways this would be handy. Okay, I'm at a Holiday Inn, and you know I'm not going to leave an expensive radio in the car. Uh, but maybe I would leave a smaller radio in the car that I could remote into and hunt stations or something like that. I mean, I don't know. What do you guys think? Would you remote into a QRP radio? Anyway, I plan on getting it when it comes out just to see what it's about. So look forward to a review on the channel when it does come out. But I would like to know in the comments, if you're a 6100 user, are you going to upgrade? If you're not a 6100 user, are you interested in a QRP radio that you can remote into? Only time will tell. If you like this video from Ham Radio Adventure Guy, click up here in the corner and watch another one. And while you're at it, click down here in the corner, subscribe. Make sure and follow us on all social media sites. And if you found value in this video or any of my videos and would like to give the channel some support, think about going over and joining the Patreon. You can actually join it for free for seven days if you join the top tier. And we have a lot of cool benefits over there and we hang out quite a bit. So maybe check it out. Thanks for sharing my adventure with me.